Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I was going to start this episode out by saying it's marathon season. Like everybody's running these marathons, but then I realized there isn't really a season for marathons. It's kind of spread out. I would not know because I am not an insane person that puts myself through the hell of running a marathon. I did a half marathon once. It was a Disney half marathon with my mom. I wore a tutu. I did not train whatsoever. One of the most exhausting experiences of my life. So I will not be partaking in the things I'm telling you about. But if you're into that sort of thing, we've got a crazy story for you. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, ring the notification bell, and of course, you can go to dailywire.com slash Brett to check out my merch collection. It is almost time for the Chicago Marathon Stop Marathon season, but that is happening on October 9th, so two days from now. And there are some runners who are feeling a bit dissatisfied about the entire situation situation. Now, obviously, we have talked a lot about trans athletes in the last year, especially in the wake of Leah Thomas, the male to female swimmer who absolutely dominated the NCAA swimming tournaments. And we've talked a lot about maybe needing a special category for transgender athletes, because if they want to compete, if you are an adult that has transitioned, sure, whatever, but you should not be competing against people who are biologically a different gender. It's that simple. So many marathons have started making that addition and they have been doing non-binary divisions to include these people and trans people. And according to Fox, the Boston Marathon made its announcement of a non-binary division last month. The division will be open in 2023. The London Marathon also created a non-binary division for next year. New York City Marathon did it last year. The Philadelphia Distance Run was the first large race in the US to establish this special division and they did it last year and you could win prize money, all the normal stuff. So it's basically just another gender division like you would have male, female, whatever. And the Chicago Marathon, which is happening in two days, just announced theirs, but people are not happy because apparently it is not enough. Here's the headline from Fox. It says, Chicago Marathon's quiet non-binary division edition feels hurtful, runner says. And Fox then covered an article originally published by the Chicago Sun-Times that detailed a non-binary runner named Cal who still feels excluded even though they have a non-binary division to run in. Here's Cal running a marathon in San Francisco. I believe Cal is biologically a man, but goes by they, them. I can't tell for sure, but I'm guessing just looking at the armpit hair and the wingspan, I think that is biological man. And Cal said, the name is Cal Calamia. I definitely, when I originally read it, thought that it was chlamydia. <laughs> I was like, that's unfortunate for you. And in this article, Cal said that they grew concerned when they realized that there was no elite non-binary division as in male and female races or any finish line ribbon or monetary prize. They then noticed that there had been no public announcement to promote the division and said, personally, it feels hurtful because it feels performative or brushed under the rug because it really is a big deal. Said Calmidia. <laughs> Fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Personally, it feels hurtful because it feels performative or brushed under the rug because it really is a big deal, said Calamia, a teacher in San Francisco who grew up in Gray's Lake. Hold up. Wait a minute. A teacher. Why are they always teachers? Why? That was the thing about the story that really stood out to me the most. I was going through and I was like, okay, of course, obviously all of these jokes on libs of TikTok's tweets, like where it's some crazy person with like piercings hanging out of their, you know, every hole on their face and they're, you know, talking about identifying as a frog. Turns out they're always teachers. And in this case, it's also accurate. What a plot twist. Calamia continued and said, as a trans athlete, showing up and registering for these races is a hard thing to do because there's not usually space. What makes it easier is when big organizations with a lot of power say, we're adding this category and we're proud of it and we're doing what it takes to celebrate these runners who are now being invited to our event. Like, are you kidding me? They added the division. What did you want? An entire parade in your honor saying, oh, look, yay, you guys can run. We're gonna celebrate it. We're gonna have rainbow flags flying everywhere. No, you are being treated like a normal, decent human being. They're giving you the respect of adding a division for you. And apparently that's still not enough. Another runner who was quoted in the article said that non-binary runners deal with more than normal people because they worry about getting misgendered while they're running and finding a, a correct bathroom to use. But like y'all, you're running 26 miles 
Everybody is going to be sweating and dying while running for four hours. Like they are not going to be thinking about your gender and nobody is getting the star treatment with marathon bathrooms. Everybody is going to use a freaking porta potty and newsflash, they are already gender neutral. I don't know why I'm having to tell you that. You don't need a special non-binary bathroom. You already have one. Nobody is getting non-binary bathrooms with heated toilet seats and a freaking bidet while running the Chicago Marathon. So calm down. Somebody commented and said, just run your marathon, people. I ran the Chicago Marathon in 2012. It was fantastic. I wish more people would just enjoy the journey and experience. I was happy just to finish. Yes, and be grateful for what they are doing for you. Another person said, shocking that they them community realized they them can't just be happy. Nope, there had to be something to bitch about. Yes, exactly. They don't actually care about their so-called progress. They just want to complain all the time. Somebody said, you could give out free ice cream and pony rides and the non-binary crowd would still have grievances. Yeah, they would probably be upset that the horses were gendered or something. I don't know. Don't give many ideas. This person said, excited to hear that I no longer have to sit out of the Chicago Marathon due to being non-binary. I now get to sit it out due to having dog shit cardiovascular endurance instead. <laughs> Uh, same. That's actually very relatable. Another person said, because the Chicago Marathon didn't make a big deal out of having a trans division for its race, these people got pissed off. Nothing makes them happy. They are perpetual victims. Yes, could not have said it better myself. It will never be enough. You have your own division. People on both sides of the political aisle could support this and see it as some sort of compromise and a way to protect everyone and protect the athletic integrity. But you still find a way to turn yourself into a victim and continue seeking attention. This is not about empowerment or inclusion. This is about perpetual whining and wanting to act like an overgrown toddler. Grow up, be grateful, and run the damn race. Run, bitch! Run! I certainly won't, but if that's something you want to do, just shut up and run. Do you want to be the only person not caught up on the internet's latest news? I didn't think so, so make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss an episode.